Hey, this is Jay Martin from TWReplays.com, and I've got a Napoleon multiplayer battle for you, fought on Italian grasslands. There is the hill in the middle of the map that I thought would be important. Don't know about you. I don't usually play this map. I'm not, I'd say 90% of my matches are on grassy flatlands, so I wasn't uh, real sure what to do. Uh, I brought a Cav Light build. You can see I have six lights and ten line and only two light dragoons. I have the regular general. And my plan at the beginning was to just storm the sill, and I did it in probably poor fashion. I just bunched up and wanted to run. Um, a couple things you should know before we really get into the battle, or before you get into watching my videos of battles, are that I'm not very good at Napoleon Total War. I just really like playing it, and I like watching other people play it. And, uh, so when I show you videos of me playing, they're probably going to be of me losing. But hopefully we can uh, mutually learn from my mistakes. It is kind of my goal. Anyway, so the battle starts, and I make a grand... Uh, I'm running to take the hill. This is my opponent, Ultimate XR, who plays as Denmark, who has kind of an interesting build. He is low on quantity, but high on quality. He has six line units, four of which are lifeguards. And all of these line units have three chevrons. He has the highest rated general, the most expensive general. Uh, he has three ski troops, sort of their equivalent of rifles, also with chevrons. And he has uh, three light dragoons. And at the beginning of the battle, I'm uh, running for the hill. And he's sort of running up too, but only with these uh, lifeguard units. He uh, garrisons two in this house immediately, which doesn't really seem to be relevant at the time. Uh, but I beat him to the hill. You can see my light units running up. And at this point, I think he kind of stops or sort of concedes things to me. And if I'd have been smart right here, see, I've got my uh, horse. I could have made a break for his general. And uh, I probably wouldn't have got there, but maybe he wouldn't have been paying attention or something like that. But... Um, Sort of an opportunity wasted. Didn't really even make it go for him. I think, yeah, he pulls back there, but uh, could have done that. So what he's got is on his uh, left, he's got the two lifeguards in the house, and he's got his line arranged in front of the hill, and his cab and his lights on, the, on his right. I move my lights up, but they uh, do really awesome thing where they shoot into the ground right about now yeah there they go I'm actually smart enough to realize this so I try to reposition my guys that they'll actually I don't know shoot bullets at the enemy soldiers he does seem to respect uh, the firepower though so he pulls his line back and moves some lights up at this point uh, I'm not doing a whole lot. My, my only thought at this point was get on the hill, and I got on the hill. And Okay, what now? It occurred to me that uh, he had a lot of cabin lights over there, so I kind of form out to get a front against these guys and uh, try to maneuver over here my lights to positions where I can actually shoot and not hit the ground. Uh, I didn't do a terribly good job with this. At this point, he uh, has a little cav charge. Uh, this Dragoon unit, and my plan was to run this foot unit up and then form a square. Uh, as you can sort of see, I hit the square button right in time. However, uh, of course, this Dragoon just run right by my square into the light unit that I was a little late on retreating. And so this Dragoon unit does some, frankly, way more damage than it should if I was uh, being reasonably attentive. You can see that I've still got this big gob of foot units, not really. Uh, being productive. Over on the right side, he has one lifeguard unit sort of out on its own, and I have. Oh, well, those are fencibles. That's my meat shield that I was going to use. Anyway, so I've got um, them being uh, shot by a couple units of lights and a meat shield. Uh, charge my horse in, and uh, he's going to form a square. So I'll pull the charge back. Take some. Uh, Fairly inaccurate fire from the house. He forms square pull back, just trying to get some uh, shots from my guys. And over on this flank, I finally routed that uh, unit of dragoons. 
and I'm trying to engage the lights over here. And I, I feel like I'm in a pretty good spot here. I have an advantage. I'm in the forest. He's not. And uh, my foot unit should win just a naked shootout um, with these ski troops. Uh, next cab unit comes in. Uh, form square. Uh, again, don't pull the lights back that he's actually targeting. But at this point, I do have the advantage of I have this foot unit that I can use to give some decent fire support. And we should route that Dragoon unit fairly quickly. Um, in the middle, lights are still sort of holding their own slash winning the firefight against these lifeguard units. Um, but, I mean, triple show on lifeguard units, you, they're going to fight the last man, so it's really an attrition game. Uh, Dragoons come in for another go. I think I actually get a successful charge here. Yeah, he doesn't get his square up, so I, you know. Reasonably successful charge there. And uh, he eventually sort of pulls out of the rest of, uh, you know, moves these two uh, line units to try to save his lights. My plan here was, uh, oh, and he had charged his dragoons in form squared on big deal. Um, my plan here, that's a cold stream guard unit, was just to melee <coughs> these ski troops with foot units. And uh, at this point, I'm able to sort of wrap around and flank these two line units. Okay, at this point, I finished uh, wiping out the units on the left. And all he's got left are three lifeguard units garrisoned in this house. He also is a general so alive. And part of the reason that I, I picked this battle uh, to comment on, first of all, is uh, it's very similar to a situation that Point Man found himself in in a video he posted a while ago. And um, I thought the similarities were interesting, so I figured I'd post my version of the same events. And I actually had that in mind, or I had Point Man's experience in mind when uh, this was going down. And if you haven't seen it, Point Man was facing the opponent. He had, you know, beaten him in the field, and the opponent had retreated a, a couple infantry units into a house. And uh, he tried to assault the house, and it didn't work out terribly well. And I was in the same situation, and I realized, man, I'm facing even a worse opposition than he did. Those three triple chevron life guard units, and uh, with a live general, uh, what are you supposed to do? The uh, game is also obviously no artillery, so I couldn't just blast the house. And you know, the the options seem to be kind of like, do I camp around the house, and he just camps in the house, and maybe. We, we sit there for a couple hours and somebody gets bored and whoever makes the move loses. Is that how it works? Or, or you know, you know how, what happens? And so I wasn't really sure what to do. Um, but I figured a decent plan was to kill his general first. Uh, get that guy out of the way. Maybe take a little morale hit. And after that, frankly, I wasn't real sure what the game mechanics of the game mechanics were for shooting at a house I'm, I'm I mean it makes sense to me that being inside a house gives you a good degree of s protection or something like that so it's hard to shoot them uh, but I, I wasn't I, can I surround it just shoot them to death well they'll run out of bullets I mean what, what, what do you do uh, so I wasn't really sure but uh, I figured eventually I'd just, you know, get tired of waiting and do the assault myself. At this point, I was trying to work a light unit around to the side here, and he go ahead and he charges with his general. And uh, I try to run this foot unit around to give some fire support there. And we do actually, uh, I think, manage to kill his general here. But he does deal a pretty good degree of uh, casualties to the lights. Eventually we get in position and we shoot. I'm sort of trying to move everyone close to surround the house. And there we go. Got the general. And so at this point I surround the house and... I've 
I want I want to point out that it, I have what one two three four five six I've got seven line units left with two guard units four of them have virtually no casualties and I've got three lights and a general so at this point I've got seven line units about five of which have virtually no casualties and th this is GB foot too so it's pretty high quality I've got three lights who can put fire in the house I guess one of my units is militia fair enough and I have a live general this guy is a dead general and uh, three units so if we if this conflict occurred in sort of grassy flatlands you know room to maneuver map I, I think I can handle this no problem but he's stuck in the house so I gotta assault the house I don't really want to assault the house but uh, the game's gonna end and at this point in the battle I got him surrounded and not really doing any damage with rifle fire so I just go for it and just a reminder it's 11 to 3 11 units to 3 and I'm gonna hit fast forward and here we go You can see straight away that um, two of my units will route just from musket fire around there. And I get guys in. I get guys in the house. I uh, try to get my general up real close so I've got the inspire effect on the building. Ooh. Um, I use the rally button a couple times. Uh, but it, it doesn't really matter. I mean, he just sort of routes my units one by one. There they go. There goes another one. I do actually manage to knock off one of his at that point, and I just keep sending guys in. And I've still got a couple lights uh, putting fire in the house from around it. There goes the rally effect again. A um, couple of my units, you can see in the minimap, come back from routing. Send them back in. And it, it, it doesn't really matter. You know, you just straight melee. I I mean, do you even, I don't even know if you get a charge bonus when you enter a building or how they, I, I doubt it, but how that works. But just throw the guys in and they die and rout and throw them in again and they die and rout and eventually I think I get desperate enough yep there we go we uh, inspire the fencibles and the fencibles in and I'm just not denting these guys at all I mean I've got them both down to what 90 and 100 or still above 50% strength. Their morale bars are super green. And I'm just not doing anything to them. I, you know, at this point I've sent, what, 11 foot units or 11 infantry units in there. And I've got a heavily depleted guard unit. And uh, eventually I just kind of retreat. Uh, he was out of bullets at this point. I thought, I don't know, maybe he'll follow me out and I can engage him. Uh, right about now, the game actually got really laggy. I hope to maybe sort of kite on him a little bit with my lights or, you know, get him in melee with my foot guards and shoot him with my lights. Uh, but it didn't really work. Couldn't give the units the orders I wanted. And he just does straight melee charge that finishes everybody off. And uh, I'll hail the power of the Denmark foot guard that does a good job of taking me out. Anyway, so uh, good game to my opponent, Ultimate XR, who did uh, exactly what you got to do to win. And uh, check us out at twreplays.com.